Islam, Noor, light. Everything is light. Our wonderful religion is light. Allah, Noor, Samawat, Wal Art. وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا It's also spirit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَقَدْ أَنْزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ آيَاتِ مُبَيِّنَاتِ Clear ayah. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is known and your prophet is known and your religion is known, then conclusion Nurun ala Nur. Sah Nur. Nur ala Nur. Light upon light. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. What surah? Surah al Nur. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nur, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nur, Islam is nur, all of our life is nur. Maybe that's why one girl started wearing the hijab. Not when they come to school only all the time. You know, some people, they look good in some places and they don't look good in other places. Sahih Sheikh Abdul Qadir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to look good in all places, not in one place or two. You don't look good when you come to the masjid and you look bad when you go outside all the time. So this girl started wearing the hijab. And when you start obedience, immediately pressure comes. Challenges comes. SubhanAllah, it's always like that. Start any obedience, you would find yourself resisting, you would find the environment resisting, you will see the shaitan intensifying against you. So, who's worse, shaitan or human shaitan? Human shaitan, because human shaitan, you see them and you talk to them and they speak your language. They're worse than that, real shaitan. Why? That's why you don't hang with human shaitan. So she wore the hijab, the pressure starts. One of her friends, not friends, maybe classmates in the school. Wherever she's going, she said, excuse me, do you wash your hair? Wow, that's a big one. Believe me, this is not 
a friendly question. It's not meant to really know, especially you are for someone in the street, you say that. But when you do good and you have your real identity and you are really a proud Muslim and you rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nothing phases you. At the same time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides you to have good answer. Sometimes if I say, if you are in this situation, what would you do? What would you do if someone tells you that? Sajjan, what would you do? You would laugh. Okay, other person would get mad. Other person might start a fight. Other person would walk on as if they haven't heard anything. It's all situations. But she was intelligent with sense of humor. Religious, intelligent, sense of humor. She said yes. And I use hijab and shoulder. <laughs> Head and shoulder, you know that shampoo, right? Special for girls, Muslim girls, hijab and shoulder. When we say Ahmadullah, our religion is Noor. Noor ala Noor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave her light to answer it in a good way that will attract attention of the other person. Sometimes you're scared of people or you think something of people and when they talk to you or when they show a sense of humor or something, you oh, go, I didn't think that. Actually, I heard it many times. They never thought that a Muslim can really have a sense of humor or joke or... So, be proud of Noor, the Noor that you have. Be proud of Islam. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you have. Be proud of what you learn. Be proud of where you are. Where you go. When you come to Islamic School of Irving, we give you light. That's what we do here. And this light, you will take it with you tomorrow. The seniors, when they graduate, they take that light and they'll be walking with it in the streets. Halal, haram, I can look, I can't look, I can listen, I can be here, I cannot be here, I should participate in this, no, I shouldn't, I should go home, I should stay. That's what we give you here. All the time that you are here, we're telling you what's right and what's wrong. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what the light, Allah, His light, the light, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the light, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the light of the Quran or the religion tells you that and we give you that. So when you leave here, you have light. Be proud of it. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of every little piece of information you hear. Wallahi, you would remember it and you would see the benefit of it. The confidence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala builds in you to know that you are on the straight path and you're doing the right thing. Everything in our religion, if you understand it so wonderful and so to the point, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfected truthfully and justifiably. Truth and just. He subhanahu wa ta'ala created and He gives the rules. Those rules. If you don't live by them, the creation is ruined, meaning it would never be right. You can replace the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for billions of rules. You would never fix the problem because he's the one who created you and he knows the solution and he knows how to do it and he gave it to you. That's why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or his messenger says something, don't question it. Question your brain and your understanding. Know that it's perfect. Whether you like it or you don't feel like it or it's against your desires, train yourself to submit. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anh said, Oh Prophet of Allah, I love you more than my mom, my dad, my friends, my family, people, everyone in the world except myself. He said, No Umar, even yourself. He said, Okay Prophet of Allah, including myself. Immediately submit it. He didn't say, oh, shouldn't I really care for myself more so I can go to Jannah 
and you would come after me. No arguments, nothing. This is the way it is. Sam'an wa ta'a. Nurun ala nur yahdi allahu li nurihi man yasha'a. Asbahna wa asbaha al-mulku lillah wa alhamdul lillah la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika la lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Rabbi as'aluka 